Cryostasis brings gamers to the Arctic Circle in 1968. You take on the role of Alexander Nesterov, a meteorologist caught inside the North Wind, an old nuclear icebreaker frozen in the ice many years ago. The steel Russian beast once fought for its country, but it fell to the cold, along with everything on board. It's up to Alex to survive the cold and uncover what happened aboard this mysterious ship. The best horror games can make you shiver, but few elicit chills as well as cryostasis. What it does with atmosphere and environment makes it one of the most unsettling horror games on this list. The atmosphere that unfolds as you play becomes thick with tension, resulting in player panic each time you turn a new corner. The story is revealed through the use of flashbacks, which provide a background to the disaster. Scattered throughout the desolate ship are dead crewmen, whose red, beating hearts indicate the opportunity to delve into the past. Once activated, you are given a chance to intervene with fate and possibly save the crewmen from their untimely deaths. You are usually given a task, depending on the way they went out. Repair ship systems, stop the flooding, or even kill mutants. Succeed at these life-threatening moments, and you can progress to the next area of the ship. It is an interesting story mechanic that hasn't been done before, and although it can be jarring at times, you will find that it is a very effective tool at revealing the horrific events that happened on the North Wind. Atmosphere is arguably the largest proponent in a horror game, and Cryostasis does this right. You are embedded with a sense of loneliness as soon as the game begins, and as you explore the ruined ship, you soon realize that you're alone. There is ample opportunity to play detective as you try and piece together the flashbacks to find out what really happened to everyone on the ship. The surroundings are highlighted by an amazing visual style loaded with moody lighting and tight industrial areas. The sense of isolation is spoiled, or heightened depending on how you look at it, by Antarctic terrors. You will be grasping for a breath as the long, dark, cramped quarters suffocate you with fear. The real enemy in cryostasis is cold, and it's this concept that results in one of the game's most creative conceits. Where most games have you wandering around picking up health kits, cryostasis has you seeking out sources of heat. The very environment in itself saps away your energy and heat, and when it's gone, you die. Before that happens, you have to find a torch, a desk lamp, even a radiator to stave off the cold. Different sources have different limits on the amount of heat you can claim, which helps you to go from room to room in search of warmth. Cryostasis does this better than any game I can think of. In the belly of the ship, and briefly out on the ice, you're at the mercy of horrendously low temperatures. Visually, this is all splendidly realized. Every surface is covered in a frosty sheen, and when things heat up, the moisture trickles away in a defrost sequence. Plunging into parts of the ship where it's too cold to even breathe is pretty intimidating, especially when you know you could be attacked at any time by the ship's terrifying inhabitants. Cryostasis is about the ambience. Parallel narratives meshed with visceral gameplay makes for an exciting experience. It has you jumping from interesting moment to interesting moment and at a very steady pace. Not, not too fast, but well orchestrated enough to maintain interest. The horror factor is well handled, getting under the skin in some exciting ways, even while playing homage to many of the great traditions in horror films and games.